Hey all and welcome to Mystic Fellowship. Yes, Wrath Classic. Wrath Classic Druid. I mean, she's 76, so, she's, so not bad. And we also have experience increase, which is good. Where was I at? Okay, good. Shoals are basin. One of my favorite zones. So, yes, my heart is set to dollar. Wait. I was going to say, did I clean my bags out enough? I didn't. I was going to say, do I even have room to store shit? What the hell do I need that for? Alright. That's probably better. Okay. I think we're good to go, Neil. I did get some of the bank tabs. Uh, guild bank tabs set up, so... Such a good thing. Ooh. You know what? It's cold down here still. And it's still a little chilly outside, so... A couple hours stream, it should be warm enough outside to go start tie-dye. Ooh, and I'm almost to level 77, so I'm not far from it. And chaos is almost right. Alright, cool. I mean, I told him I was going to work on old Blanche Druid. Uh... I guess we'll go to River's Heart because it's closest to uh, where I need to go. I forget, how much gold was it to buy cold weather flying? Was it 1500 or some weird shit? I can't remember. Also, I remember uh, Mom had given me slipper socks. <clears throat> so I put those on my feet because my feet keep getting cold down here. I'm going to eat a piece of chocolate while we wait to get there. You know what? I'm gonna whisper chaos. Cause he always does this to me. He always whispers me re <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh god, when I grass. I remember going up there and fishing and farming shit. Did frost lotus up there? I can't remember. Titanium, I think you can get up there sometimes.
Wait, so it doesn't say who's controlling it. That's weird. Oh well. That's weird, it's whatever. Metal fish school. Oh, sorry, I do have fish fine. <coughs> yeah. I think you have to be seventy eight to buy it. I don't think you have to be eighty, but I think you have to be close. All right, so where am I going? Travel to Moss Walker Village. Aye. So, take the path out of here. Because literally the path up out of here is this. Wait, do I have... Oh... I need to start doing the dailies for these. I gotta get revered. Well, I know doing these quests. Did I have? Do I have Oracle Rep? Hold on. What am I even at for that? Now I'm curious. Friendly. Well, I'm almost. Wait. Honored's first, I think, right? And then, or is it friendly first? No, I think it's friendly, then honored, then revered. So I got like a whole fucking bar to get. Which is gonna be a pain. Well, it means I'm gonna have to start focusing on the dailies, because I do want to get flying, and I do want to get the fucking, uh, Green Proto Drake, because it's pretty badass. Just saying. That's funny because there's like multiple. <sighs> All right, can I get... I'm trying not to trigger fucking enemies. I'm also trying to get out, up where I need to go. Shit. Because I can't even really remember where I left off. I know I was doing Oracle stuff, but... Where's... 
So there's gotta be a path. No, get off your dumb snake. Wait, never mind, I see it. I see a way to get up here. Hold on, who am I supposed to moodle? Okay, stress ball. Once I get there. Just watch out for that camp. Death's Hand Encampment. Part of me was hoping that I could get a Loki Nahak as a hunter pet on Wrath Classic. Since they don't have the stupid zone merging bullshit like retail does, which kind of fucks me over from ever getting that pet for my hunter. Uh... I'm not gonna go near where I know he spawns because, yeah, my luck. For that, seeing it when I'm not even on a hunter would probably be very high, <laughs> and then I'd be like pissed. Because then I'd end up killing him and then I'd feel bad for killing him. And I know people fucking farm the shit out of him on retail still. Trying to get him as a pet. I kind of gave up on it. I mean, I got the fox. I'm not complaining too terribly much. I got the fox in Duskwood, so I think a lot of people don't know about that one. Because it was recently on it. Right here, right? Yeah. <gasps> Finally. Alright, Moodle. Stress ball. There he is. Ten life blood shards. Rescue six victims. Oh, this doesn't even have. I don't have. Wait, I do have add ons. It's retail that I turned all the add ons off. There's nothing that shows... I didn't. I guess I didn't download quest for Because I think there is a quest for God! They're just gonna all fucking swamp me, aren't you? When did they add the... That's not your fault, buddy. Filter can chat! When did they add the loot... Combined loot. Was that Cataclysm? Or if you kill a bunch of shit in one spot, you pretty much loot everything. No matter which one you click on. So I know Transmogging was added in Cata.
I just don't know if the multiple loot thing was or not. Five. Well, this one. Nope, that one didn't make it. It's pretty much all of them except for one. Save, now I gotta find. And I know where the shards are. Oh god, here we go again with these guys. Oh, thanks for sticking around through the ads, I do appreciate it. I know they're annoying, but I gotta make a little bit of money somehow. Um, For the instance, yes I am on TikTok, but I don't I really upload there anymore. And for the instance that it gets banned, please subscribe to my YouTube and help me get monetized. I don't have much in the way close to being monetized, but like it's getting there slowly, but surely. Okay, yes, I was right. Honored's next, and I've just hit it, so that's good. We need to get revered for that egg. Let's go find the... Lifeblood pieces. Is there around here? But yeah, whether you watch shorts, lo <coughs> longer videos, or both. Everything helps. And of course, trying to get back into my old series. Trying to bring my my some of my older series back to life, but in a new way. Um, you know you're getting older. I just did the intro to... I might just start the intro to the next one, even though I don't have all the stickers. Well, the one that says it's running late actually got here on time. And I did, since they're usually, stickers are usually separate sellers, I did leave a message for the seller that I did get it. The one that said likely arrived on the 11th did not arrive. And... There's no way for me to do anything right now because it says if it's not here by the 14th, which is tomorrow, then I can't, you know, do anything about it. So I have to wait till tomorrow to see if it sh shows up by then. So I may just start it without all the stickers. Like do the intro part of it. Without the stickers. And then... Um,
Well, there's supposed to be some stickers showing up today, I think. I don't remember. Hey, if all the rest of them that I need, then I'll put it together and maybe get it started. I had to kind of flatten it out because it got a little curled up since I sort of made the background of it watercolor, so it kind of kind of bent it up. Oh, I see another one. I see one down by the water. Hell yes. I'd put World of War- You know what? I could do World of Warcraft polls on uh, Twitter. For the seven day poll things. Well, I'm gonna change them to five days. But I am, gonna, I am doing a series, so if you're on Twitter, and you follow me, Join in my polls. I'm doing random shit. Um, I might try a World of Warcraft one at some point. See if, you know, anybody responds to it. Because I just had another... I had an idea for another one. Oracles or Frenzy Heart? Which team are you on? Y'all know mine. Oracles all the way. <laughs> Oracles all the way because they drop a fucking mount, man. One of the coolest mounts. One of the coolest proto drakes in the game. And no, the coolest is not the time loss, even though it's most coveted. I'm talking about coolest by colors. Well, this color one is probably the blue from the one dungeon on Heroic. I forget what dungeon it was. It's one of the keeps by in uh, Howling Fjord. Uh... Yeah, Howling Fjord. I was right. Howling Fjord. It guard keep or something when you do it on heroic you can get it the amount of times i fucking farm that until i finally got it it's not a hard dungeon to farm either really i don't know if i'll be able to solo it on kata though maybe Don't hurt to try. Might take a couple people to do it. I was gonna say chaos, I could probably probably nail it. I mean it probably depends on your class too that you're playing. Like a pally might be able to well a druid might be able to, because we do have healing. But I think a druid and a hunter might be able to successfully pull that off. And farm it till we each get the mount. I just like, like you would think I would pick Frenzy Heart just because they're kind of like werewolves. I don't know, their personality kind of sucks though. They're kind of assholes. Like, and yeah, I'm kind of an asshole too, but I don't know. There's the kitty! Press crystals ward off the undead gradually. There's one more thing that must be done. We need to find the leader of these undead and kill them to ensure there's no trees. One middle one I'm able to. Uh I remember seeing him. Wasn't he standing on top of a rock? Yeah, like, not far away. Good, you're pulling all the fucking rock people to me anyway. Where's he at? 
He was standing on top of something. Was it this rock over here? Because he's an elite, I believe. So I just, like, ran by him. Er, no. Was this in the... Is this the one in the cave? Oh, yeah, I think this is the one in the cave. I don't know if I can do it, but we can try. I don't have that on my bar. I don't know. I don't know if I've not gotten thorns on here. I just should have all and it's been since I played this tune because I've potentially screwed up a lot of shit. Seventy-seven. He has hundred thirty-six thousand, and I only have like nine thousand. I mean, we can try, but I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, he fucking froze me. Yeah, there's... There's no way I'm gonna be able to knock him out. He got too much health. Yeah, he got too much damn health. That's not happening. I'm not even gonna try going back in there either. Yeah, 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 shut up. I'm gonna have to get help on that one. Damn it. That's a bad place to have a graveyard, you know what I mean? How much gold was the woolly mammoth? I forget. Or, I shouldn't say woolly mammoth. Tund bleh. Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. That was over a thousand, wasn't it? Something like that. It was expensive. Shit. Why are these things fucking every- No. They're gonna kill me again. Yep. Yeah, y'all need to not put the fucking- I'm gonna take the damn river. Fuck that. Like, that's gonna help because you got fucking threshers in here. Oh my god. Those undead hit way too damn hard. Shit.
There's literally nowhere to go where there's not fucking enemies. Wait, why do I st how the hell hold on? That was from midsummer and I still fucking had it. Uh, <laughs> it ain't mid do I have something? Oh yeah, that's group. Uh Nexus Dungeon. Zoldrak. I mean, we have some shit for Zuldrak we can do. I guess I'll do inserts a bigger game once this timer runs out. You know, damn Thresher fucking chasing my ass. No, get out of here. Bitch. Chaos Crab Roller's a pain in the ass. You, you, you gotta use a better ball for that thing. Even in Pokemon Go, they're a pain in the ass. Trust me. When they first brought it out on there, I was struggling to catch the damn things. The hell's it? Ooh, you motherfucker! Uh huh. My swim form's faster than you, bitch. I'm gonna jump down the water. <laughs> Wait. That's a pain in a booty hole. Oh, that's not even a high up one. Am I close to freaking rain speaker? Yes, I am. That's all I wanted to know. Oops. I was hoping to land in the water. That didn't work out. <laughs> Griffin, no. I'm struggling, bro. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I got res sickness. Cause I tried something stupid that I shouldn't have tried. Yeah, sometimes I'm a glutton for punishment. It is what it is. I want to go in a rain speaker canopy. Cause like I said, I know we ain't far from it. Right there. It's right there. I need to repair. Yeah, shit happens. I'm just a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. Alright, who's got repairs in here? You do, I think, right? Yes, you do. Uh... Vendor, 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 vendor. Don't vendor. Definitely don't vendor that. Oh, so you lose all their things when you do. Okay. Fair enough. Wait, I don't have any mana kind of drink. Oh, I do. So I'm not using that anymore. Name and tea. I love how it just climbs right back up. Alright, still got five minutes left of rose sickness. What do you have? Oh, that shit. That's all for rogues. I wonder when the dailies T 
tundra berries. Yeah, uh, purballs laying behind me. Well, one of them is. I managed to get a video of the two of them earlier, which... I want to start making videos of the cats and uploading them, even though they really don't get views. Which kind of sucks. Because... Most of my content isn't kid-friendly, so the stuff that I upload that's kid-friendly does not get views. So, but it was a funny video anyway. Like, I would upload it on TikTok, but that'd be kind of pointless, because... This whole thing of TikTok potentially getting banned everywhere. Like, it's just gonna make it not even worth putting content there. But it is gonna suck for the people that do make money off TikTok, which I don't ever want to because I don't trust them. I don't know. Uh, caterwauling. One of my mom's old cats used to caterwaul like crazy. Your best bet is here in YouTube. I mean, here is very iffy, but. Do, like, the best thing you can do if you stream, don't have anything that could get you copyright strikes. Don't play the game music. Don't have background music. And then, because you're supposed to wait 24 hours to upload it to YouTube. Which I always wait longer than that just because. Um, then just upload it. You'd be surprised how many views it can get. How many people actually sit and watch this stuff. Oh, TikTok did not die yet. I'm wait, Dude, if anything, I'm waiting for Kick to die. Like, I got so tired of hearing all the hype for Kick. I literally, you know how, like, on Twitter you can... It needs to kick the bucket. Haha, <laughs> yes. I made a funny. Um. On Twitter, you can go under your settings or whatever and block wor certain words so that you don't see them on your feed, which, like... I know a shit ton of words that have to do with politics I've blocked. But it still doesn't stop, like, memes and crap from randomly showing up. Um. Uh. But I've also literally blocked the word kick. So even if somebody talks about kick in reference to kicking somebody in the ass or having nothing to do with the fucking streaming platform, I don't see it. I mean, if you think about it, whatever it could refer to is negative anyway, so... I mean... I just... Yeah, I just assume not see it at all. Until the fucking platform dies, yeah, I don't care. I don't give two fucking shits. <laughs> Black ever yeah. Oh god. Yeah, the t toxic one. The one that threw her cat. Doesn't deserve pets because she's abusive. 
but yet still gets away with it because she's hot. I think I blocked her on there. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh yeah, I was reminded of something the other day. Every once in a while, I remember, I get reminded of words that, you know, we used to use back in the day and we don't use anymore. Um, I don't know why this one just popped into my head, but it randomly did. Uh, hold on a second. Y'all remember saying, excuse me? Instead of excuse me. I remember doing that. And then there's another word. I think it's even older. I might have to look it up. Dill hole. Instead of saying asshole. You say dill hole. Or whatever. Well, Drake's. Hatchlings. And then what's your quest? Burning the help. Bitter Tide Hydro, okay. Oh, that's right, you gotta let the damn thing spit on you, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, well, if you're saying that she uses Ole fans, then I have even less respect for her. Because I don't support that shit. It's one thing to joke about people using it. I don't mind joking about it. But as far as people flaunting their body, I don't believe in that as a line of work, even though I know some people gotta do it, and I'm not gonna hate you for it, but I'm not gonna support it either. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but... Because really, in essence, all you're doing... When you're showing off your body, you're just torturing people that want your body and are never gonna get it. So it's kind of deceptive in the, in the end, if you think about it. Showing people something they can never touch... And all that nonsense. That's why I don't agree with sex work. But hey, you do you. That's how you gotta roll. Now, as far as... People who are... Models... I'm a little more lenient on that one because one of my best friends from school is a model. That's a little different. I mean, that's probably... It is different, but it's not. Like, it's different because you're using different backgrounds and if you're modeling clothing and whatever. Yeah, if you do, you just don't push it on me. And it's kind of the same way with I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. You do you, just don't push it on. Just don't. Don't try to get me to join you, because I'm not going to. Like, just don't push it. Don't rub it in my face 24-7. Don't make that the only thing that's your topic of conversation. Learn to talk about something else, too. Because that's, like, the same thing with people... Who, like, fangirl over certain celebrities and it's, like, the only thing they can talk about. Like, bro, do you not have anything else that 
if you know any other hobbies that you want to talk about besides the celebrity that you have the hots for and you're never probably ever going to meet in person so you might as well just give it up but you know you're very stubborn <laughs> and as far as doing that because I like I get being a fangirl the last celebrity that I fangirled over that's cool good job chaos was David Duchovny during the X-Files. Yes, the last few seasons were disappointing because he wasn't in it. But I faithfully watched through them all. I need two more of the big guys. How many more of the babies? Two more of the babies. Okay. Or even Steven on that. Oops. I probably should refresh Thorns. Might be a good idea. There's a baby. Um... In that whole, I think literally that whole X-Files experience was what made me realize that fangirling over celebrities, oh yeah, I would, oh, sorry, ads. Yeah, I'll say it when, I'll, I'll do it when I'm done. I wish you could I wish you could uh watch ads for bits instead. Cause then you could have it literally on two devices. That'd make it nice. Oh come on. Stop backing up. I need one more baby. I need one more baby. One more little one. Shit. I think he's burping. Oh, there's one. Watch it disappear right when I get up to it. That's gonna piss me off. No, 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 no. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Got it. Good to go. Alright. Okay. So. The whole X-Files experience. <clears throat> I faithfully watched to the end and I realized. Yes. I would love. To meet certain celebrities. And I have a list. Actually I probably should make a list. Of the ones that I want to meet most. Ooh, we almost 77. But fangirling. Oh, shut up with your dumb laughing. Like, being that obsessed with them is just. Well. Uh, you do you, but I'm gonna do the da, 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 da. I'll do this one. Hoist, and then we'll go do the the boids. The burbs. We'll get some venom spit and then we'll go to burbs. It's when I what I realize now not everybody's gonna realize this, not everybody's gonna feel this way is fangirling is very immature. Disrespectful and 
If I ever got famous, what I want people like you already know. If you already know me well enough, you know that I hate being hit on. Therefore, I would hate. people fangirling over me. And I've been hit on, and I usually end up blocking those people that do that, because I can't stand that. Like, bro. I'm an ugly old tomboy, and I'm fucking proud of that. I'm not trying to be attractive. That is... Hence the reason I don't wear makeup. You won't ever catch my, a my fat ass in a dress anymore. And you sure as hell won't catch me in a f no fucking high heels either. Like, you want to put high heels on me? Uh, wait till I'm dead, then you can put them on me. I don't care. But there better be a lot of fucking money if you want me to walk- Try to walk around in a pair of high heels. Like, enough to literally pay medical bills after I break my ankles in them. It just ain't happening. It better be fucking millions of dollars. This is what I'm talking about. But I don't have the body for a dress. I don't want the body for a dress. I don't want to be skinny. I don't want to be attractive. It's just is what it is. I don't want to be hit on. I want to be... Because, like... I was having this conversation with my boyfriend the one day. I said... Do you ever notice men are always at the top of the entertainment pyramid? Call it pyramid. Call, call it whatever. They're always at the top. And he said it's because men are m men are seen as funnier and women are seen as sex icons. That's like you're not wrong. I said you're you're totally not wrong. Like, he's absolutely right. I don't want to be seen as a sex icon just because I'm a woman. I want to be seen as funny like guys are because I'm a fucking tomboy. <laughs> I don't want to be seen as a sex icon. I don't like that kind of attention. I get pissed off when I get that kind of attention. Just don't do it, cause it is disrespectful, and I'm sh and like thinking on that whole thing. I'm sure celebrities feel the same way when people hit on them, or go goo goo gaga over them because you know, well, they are attractive and they can't help themselves if they are attractive, whether they try to be or not. And honestly, if you're going by looks, some of them aren't attractive, they're just funny, and that's what attracts people. I'm not gonna name names, but y'all, like, you know who I'm talking about. Like Jason Alexander, he's not attractive at all, but he's funny as hell, and that's why everybody loves him. And that's why, you know, people might, women might want him, because at least he's funny, he's got a good sense of humor. Showing that you don't have to be physically attractive to be attractive. And it's true. Oops, I didn't. Ah, you have to do it while it's still on you, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, good. But that's how I want to be. I know I'm not attractive physically. I don't try to be, because I don't wear makeup anymore. I quit wearing makeup years ago. I have not put on makeup since. Um, and with the prices of everything going up, I so see no read to need to waste extra money on fucking makeup. Especially when I already know that wearing it's going to get me hit on because of the mistake I made when I transitioned from night shift to day shift. And I said, oh, I'm going to be around customers now, so maybe I should, you know, look nicer. And put on some makeup. Big mistake. Because I got hit on literally that first fucking day. And I'm like, alright, that's it. I'm never. It, it, that dude that hit on me, like, thought I worked night shifts still. And, uh. When I finally got it. Because I was rude. I was 100% rude to him the whole time. When he finally got the hint, no, I literally just started my day. 
I don't work night shift anymore. And walked away. I was just like, you know, if me wearing makeup is all that it's going to take for guys to hit on me, then no, like, no guy deserves me at all. Because my boyfriend didn't do it that way. He found me attractive without it, because I, I don't remember if I wore it back when we started dating. I don't think I did. <laughs> I can't remember, because it was so long ago. But it's like, if you're going by looks over personality, then no. You might as well just give up. Because that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna fly with me. I want my personality to shine through. I want my... Support for... Mental health to shine through. I want the fact that... If you need, I can do something to make you laugh. To be more of a focus than how I look on the outward appearance, first appearance. Because they always say first impressions are everything. Well, then it shouldn't even count how you look. Shouldn't matter how you look on. Uh, it should matter how you treat somebody first. When you... Your first interaction with them. If your first interaction with someone is being a dick for no reason whatsoever... Well, then you're obviously a piece of shit. And... She, she, you just fucked yourself over at a chance of a potentially good friendship. And, you know, people do that shit all the time. But it's just like... And it's funny, because that associate that uh, was on my Karen Voodoo board this, this last uh, episode of it... I haven't seen her at work since. <laughs> Isn't there the hug achievement on here? Is it wait, was that would that be under general? Spear needy keymaster pest control. No, it's love. Uh versus Okay. I've never, you know what's weird? I've, I don't think I've ever done that. There. I've never done that achievement before. That's strange, probably. <laughs> like, I've done quite a bit of achievements in retail, but I don't think I've ever done that one. Honestly, don't think I've ever done that one. <gasps> oh, you motherfucker! I was like right behind him, ready to pounce. And it fucking flew off. Oh, you bastard bird. It's like, you asshole of a bird. How dare you? You shit. You know, I forgot to tweet that I was live. <laughs> you know what? I'm still gonna call it Twitter. And I'm still gonna say tweet. I ain't changing that shit. Oh, and another bird decides to show up. Boy, twisted rock. Okay, so I guess the drop for those is random. Yeah, whatever. I thought there was a hug one, or did they add the hug one at another time, maybe? 
I guess it's possible they added hug. But I seriously thought hug was a it was an achievement, just like the loved one. Kidding. Any rock talons? Why not? I knew that one was gonna come like it was too high up for me to Way too high up for me to do that. Oop, got one. Okay, yeah. So it is random. Fed enough. Fed enough. We got it. It's as random as fuck. Ooh, somebody got the blue drake. I do have that one on retail, too. Like, mounts on here I'm not as worried about, because I have so many on retail. And I have so many good ones that I've... spent for fucking ever trying to farm. Like, ugh. Time Lost Proto I have on there. I got lucky as hell because I got on that real early in the morning. And it triggered my uh, rare spawn scanner. And I was like, oh shit, where is it? Oh shit, where is it? Like, my heart was fucking pounding when, when it went off and I saw what it was. Damn it. I'm trying to get up where this damn bird is. I can't climb up on the bones. No! Yes. It won't let me stamp on the damn bones. Alright, fuck it. We'll just do it this way. And I was like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And then I was like, oh shit, there he is. Oh shit, there he is. And I'm like praying, God, don't let anybody else show up. God, don't let anybody else show up and steal my, <laughs> steal my mount. And I made it... I and it's annoying because you can't trigger him in the air. You can't you can't get him to follow you in the air. You have to go to a like a cliffside or something that he flies next to to actually trigger him. Oop, I got all seven eggs, but I did not get all seven talents. I think this one's too high up too. Most of these are too high up. Uh, so I managed to land on the right spot, pull him, kill him, nailed it. I was like, hell yes. I had to, like, literally sit there for a minute and catch my breath because I was, like, my heart was pounding so bad. It was like, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I just kept saying, oh shit, please, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it. Most coveted. Most ugly ass proto drake in the game. Well, one of them at least. Because it's like a poopy looking mustard color. <laughs> because he's just so rare. Uh. And then, of course, you have the Firelands, which. The ground mount is a more frequent drop, which is the. Flame Talon of Alice Razor, or however you pronounce that. I've actually had that one drop twice. And I've gotten the pets a few times. Through. So it's like if I ever wanted to farm it again, like I would just farm it for pets. Or leather, because there's a lot of things. I don't know, you could get a lot of gold out of it too. And you can. I think I actually used it to, um, level up skinning for Cataclysm. Because I was on a high level skinning character and I was like, I need to level it up. And I was like, you know what I bet running through Firelands and skinning the shit that you can. 
in there would do it. And it did. It literally leveled my, my cat of skinning up. It was kind of nice. Because it's easy. Nobody else is killing stuff. Nobody else is stealing skins. You're in there by yourself. I was just farming. And then, like, the same for Burning Crusade. There's a, uh... X. I want Twisted Rock Talons! Where the hell are they all? Um... What the hell is the name of that damn dungeon? It's weird, because it's a dungeon that literally... Oh, good, I got another one. I need two more. It looks like, um... Uh, it looks like Swamp of Sorrows, the way... The way the water and land parts of it are laid out. But it's just one big thing, and it's it, it literally looks like Swamp of Sorrows, but it's Burning Crusade uh, mobs. And I believe it's in uh, it's in the Cavern of Times or whatever. Oh, one more. Uno mas, uno mas, uno mas, uno mas, uno mas burb, uno mas burb. Let's get him. But, uh, so yeah, there's some dungeons, old older dungeons, like if you level up real quick on retail, don't do your professions. There's dungeons for those you can just farm for leveling up the professions. Gathering ones, anyway. Those are definitely two you can do. It's still too high up, far away because he's up on a fucking bone and I can't. See, Pounce, like. Pounce used to. Because in classic, Pounce is only behind, and then I guess they changed it for this, so where you can be in front of it. So I'm pretty sure you had to be behind the target to use it in classic. And then in this, it doesn't matter. Alright, well, why don't you give me my other fucking talent, because you're giving me nerves. Ooh. Ravage actually does- Now, Ravage is one of those moves you gotta be behind the target. But it does do a lot of damage. I just wanted to test it. It really does do a lot off the bat. Yay! Last one. Hell yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Um... Hold on. That's right, you're not allowed to- you can't go for the bull mammoths, you have to get the, uh... Oh, well there's one right here. I probably should have picked one closer to camp. <laughs> They're so slow. <laughs> They're so slow. Oh, uh, people are trying to fucking resurrect a damn mammoth. Did you hear about that? And science news and shit. They found a perfectly preserved uh, mammoth, and it's like they want to fucking. Like, oh my god, could you guys just not? Like, I think back on the whole thing in Jurassic Park where Ian Malcolm's like, 
Dinosaurs had their shot and nature selected them. <laughs> For the time that they had, like leave it a f leave it alone. Just find the way to keep it preserved and put it in the fucking museum. That's how it should be. Nobody wants you to resurrect a damn mammoth, cause even an elephant could kill somebody. Uh, those are intellect. No, they're not gonna do me any. Okay, level up, bitches. Hi, how are you? You have a great day now. Be seeing you. Alrighty then. Can I help you? All right. Who gives me the him? Hold on, Brewmother Smith takes fix out. This is where you get to use the mammoth. Da -da 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 -da. And I think. She is. Gotta go up here. I forgot Hemet was on the back of this damn thing. Why would you trigger a regular Drake? All right, no, we gotta go for the big one. She's ugly, too. Hey, hey, I got her in the trap. My man must gonna die. Let's turn on bark skin because I might be able to just kill her the rest of the way without. Yeah. Ooh. I could skeet her too. Hell fucking yeah. Oh, you should have given me two because it was an elite, damn it. That's okay. Hey, I killed it. So what? Ooh, I can loot this one. And skin it. Da 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 da. -da. Nailed it. Is my skinning maxed in this? I think it is. Because I have tailoring too. 
Taylor is not quite. Hold on. I don't even have Frostweave bags yet. Damn, I better get on this shit. Uh, and Frostweave is. I have to make these until I get. Because I think I have to get four. I think I have to be at 400. Oof. I need to kill shit that drops cloth, not. Yeah, we'll take that one. The snows of Northrend. Sweet. Give me that little bitch. Woohoo, I got the potion. See, I like how you get the supplies too from the stuff. It's so nice. Emmett, <laughs> Emmett bragging about the battle. He's funny. So wait, that's literally all the quests I have for... Uh... Detect a bit of jealousy, Dorian. Alright, so I guess... We can go... To Zoldrak. I don't want to, but... <laughs> Rage Man Flippers. That's where I got the most stuff. Oh, I never did my talent. That's all their stuff. Improve Mark of the Wild. Nature's focus, we'll put it there. Oof, I forgot I need glyphs too. I need a major glyph. Uh. But I'm just gonna hearth the dollar in and. Clean up my shit for a little bit, and then uh, we'll head over to the last batch. Some of the guild names on here are just kind of interesting. Where even is there a? Blacksmith. There's a few people floating around Dalaran, not a whole lot. I mean, it is Wednesday, so it's kind of iffy. I don't need that. Crusty flatbread. Gold Clover. I see Dragon Skill. Let's hold on to that. Scroll of Stamina. Damn, I got all those feathers just from them stinking birds. Really? That's a lot of feathers. Oh, I know where you are. You're down in the freaking... Uh... Oh, down in the underbelly. Sewer.
Yeah, I don't remember what level. Uh, man, how much are these fucking nineteen hundred travelers tundra mammoth? The woolly mammoth needs the emblem of heroism. Reigns of the armored brown bear. Lying trainer. Oh, it only costs a thousand, and that's five thousand for the actual flying. Well, then I'm just going to do that. I don't have any flying mounts. But I don't need them because I have my fucking bird form, bitches. Because <laughs> I'm a druid. Uh, oh, Ice Crown. No, I'll do Zoldrak before I do freaking Ice Crown. I don't need a mount when I got a fucking... Wait, where did I quest last in Zoldra? Oh god, I do not remember. I guess I can just go- Oh, Arjun stands not far from Light's Breach. So I guess it really doesn't matter which one of those are. Go to. Alright, whatever. It's like, there, now I have, like, no gold. Okay. Heh. 769. So. We're gonna end this at 10. 40 minutes-ish. I'm gonna go out and do some tie-dye. Unfortunately, I didn't think when I bought the long sleeve t-shirts to tie-dye. You need shirts that are either 100% or mostly cotton. And I thought these were, because they felt like it. They're only 10%. But we're going to give it a shot anyway, just to see. Because, hey, who knows? Maybe it will work. M maybe it'll work better than, you know, I think. Because the spray tie-dye definitely does work better than... That's an NPC mail. It definitely works better than the old school shit. Oh, there's your perfect carry on bird chaos. The vultures that are flying. Aren't they flying over the dead fields here? Well, I know there's I know there's some in uh, Western Plaguelands too. You can probably get. I think those were the two-headed ones, which is what I got once. Uh, and if y'all are old school like me and remember the original Looney Tunes, you remember there was that episode with the two-headed vultures in it that were. Wanting to eat Bugs Bunny, even though, like, he literally doesn't have any meat on him at all. He's skinny as can possibly be. Um. I'll ask for the Argent Tournament. So I guess once you hit 77, you're... 
down for that. Okay, so what what was this about? Um I remember the girls one the girl one was named Emily Agatha. The boy one I don't know. Okay, yeah, so if you have the Drakari offerings, you can get a blessing. Which, I think I had a good bit. I still have 23, just from the quest that I did do up here, which was the ones around here. Alright, so we're doing Patrol. Right, well, I guess we'll start with that one, because it's in the weirdest random spot. Find him first. Probably in this little building right here. Yeah. Captain Grondel, alright. Dead Thornwood. That quest. And, of course, watch out for the basilisks, which are fucking everywhere in here. But, hey, at least I can skin those. Oh, yeah, between that and the mossy rampager. No, we're not for... What, the Amphitheater of Anguish is right here? That's weird, I don't think I've ever done that Amphitheater before. Wait, yes I did. A long time ago. Like, a very long time ago. It was with the guild, with my original guild. Damn, am I just gonna get all these without triggering anything? But I just jinx myself. I'm already at 15 out of 20. Let's see here. Team. Nailed it. Okay, that was too easy. I think he gives you more than that, though. I think there's something else. I feel like there's more to it than just picking up the wood. Grabbing wood, that's what she said. Nope, that was all he wanted. Okay. This task is done. Easy enough. What's next? Wait, what? Oh, it just marks where he's at. Okay. Uh, not know did that. Uh, interesting. Alright, so where's the other one at? Oh. <laughs> this person named Hooch. Wait, wasn't there a Hooch alcoholic beverage? Ooh, a pan pour. Water poppies. 
And the Drax Search reveals. Okay, I figured that's what that one was. Can I do this without pulling any enemies? Why do they look like penises sticking up at him? Never mind. They are weird looking. That's like, can I do it without triggering an enemy? Probably not. Yeah, no. I think what I'll do as far as these shirts go, I'm just going to do one of the ones that's only part cotton. Um, because, like, I'm kind of thinking along the lines of. Even if it's very. Even if it does die okay and it's subtle. Wait, did I actually get enough? <laughs> I did. Wait, is this one of the. Is that one of the ones on that list? Yep! Hey, <laughs> got it! I might as well do these while I'm at it. Fuck it. I mean, I guess as long as it's a critter, it counts. And it's a critter. Alright, where's the... Oh, no, hold on. I gotta turn his thing in. But yeah, we'll do the one that I've been itching to do for it. Um... If it doesn't work, I know that if I get rit die, I could do something with that. So I'm almost kind of wondering at this point if I could... I'll probably have to look on Amazon to get a decent set of red dye. I want you to use high impact grenades near being critters. There's a couple quests here. And escort them safely. Oh, this is that escort quest. Well, let's do the let's do the grenades. Oh, the t Okay, so not that not there yet. The Nerubian tunnels are this way. Yeah, we're over. Ah, I see. The little mounds. So, like I said, even if it's something subtle. You know, it's stupid that you can't skin these. It's like really fucking lame. Um. I do have fabric paint. 
And in fact, I have a lot of it. I don't know how much of it's still good and not dried out. So I'm going to have to mess with it. Uh, so if I have a subtle background, I can do something with fabric paint on it. I have made shirts with fabric paint and fabric markers in the past. But unfortunately for me now, they're too small to fit. So, yeah. You might want to get out of the way, because I'm getting ready to blow this hole. Is there another one in here? Yeah, there is. Damn it. That's <laughs> like stuff before they find out that, you know, it was you that did it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we'll do the test on that one. It's pretty much going to be putting the dye on, leaving it out on the porch to let it dry, and then... Oh, I see. They do catch on fire and die anyway, so. I was gonna say, where is there another tunnel? Oh, here by this tree. Nailed it. Alright. As much as I don't want to, shall we try to rescue these guys? I know where one is. There's one all the way over here. Get the zombie out of our way first. Or ghoul, whatever you want. They look more like ghouls. I mean, they're kind of the same thing, but still. I know there's one in here. Let's just feed. Come on, bitch. I'm trying to find the easiest, quickest way back without dealing with too many enemies. Like, I know there's easy paths to take, you just gotta... Stay focused.
Okay, so that's one. I think she's the furthest one away. Or was the furthest one away. Okay, save Josephine. Open the Nervine Cocoon Strike Sotra and return once you have free three cap of foot. Meh. We'll do that at some point, but. We gotta find the rest of these guys. Cause Lamouf. Lamouf is a gnome. I do know that. And I think Jonathan's just a human. Let's try to get rid of some more ghouls out of the way before I. I wanna check this building. I know these guys gotta be in buildings. I think they all are. Not sure. It's been a while since I've done this quest. I don't remember where they're all at. So yeah, we'll do the test on the one shirt. The, I still have, I think... Nope. Not one in there. I st <coughs> still have two white cotton shirts. And I do have a light blue one. I think I got like on clearance or some shit. It'd be easier for me to fly around and find these two. I thought one of them was up here. Oh no, one of them's in here, right? No. Nope, 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 nope. Heck. Where's these other two at? Oh, it does mark them. But where the hell's... Bitch, he ain't in the building. It's just this recruit in here. Oh, it's this building, probably. Get the zombie out of the way. A Maryland chat. At least Meryl Shiny's cool. There's the move. Okay, there's the gnome. Come on, buddy. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Upward and onward. Move those little legs.
You know what's- you know what would really make this quest more fun? Because he's a gnome if they'd let you, like, let him ride on your back. That would be cute. Because I would do that, like, that would just be fun. Might as well grab the other quests that are here. Because that stuff's all over here. Alright, where's Jonathan at? Jonathan further away? Damn. I guess he is. He's in this building. <sighs> this one's gonna be annoying. Yep, there he is. Damn, even in these slipper socks, with regular socks on. My feet are still fucking cold. I think they give you- it looks like they give you three minutes for him. Just like they give you three for Josephine. I think it's like the same amount. Which way am I even going? Yeah. Trying to stay away from the Tim zombies. And I was trying not to go over where the cocoons and shit were. He got them all. Uh, 38 agility. Yeah, we'll take that back. So that is a little bit of an upgrade, so I'll take it. Alright, I guess we can go over here and do the fucking, uh, to footman. Because it's like you either get a footman or you get Drakari out of it. Like, I know you were planning to eat that bitch later, but you know what? If I'd have known if it, that it was a Jakari, I would have just left him alone for you. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't know. Can't tell because you got him wrapped up so friggin' tight.
Ugh, am I gonna get all Dracari out of these damn things? Like, that's gonna annoy the shit out of me! Where's our cocoons? I forgot to add Savage Roar, because that's not in Classic either. Oh my god. Back three in a row, this fucking Drakari. Bruh. Oh my god, somebody's actually typing and looking for group. I feel like that's extremely rare around here, I'm just saying. It just feels like it's extremely rare. Alright. One! I got one. Now I knew there was a couple of them inside here, so I might as well do these. Wait, did the. No, oh, that one did. Damn it, another Drakari. I'm gonna have to see what I have on Ati as far as Horde goes, too. Damn it. Another Drakari. Oh, I forgot I had Maim, too. There's like too many. <laughs> the problem with this is there's too many moves. For, uh... Too many finishing moves. Which is kind of annoying. Dark Scepter of the Eagle. I might be able to sell that. Oh, hey, look, this one spawned again. Other damn Drakari. Rip. Can't you guys give me another one of what I need? I only need two more, but how many more of these am I gonna have to go through? Okay. That's one more, so I just need one left, and then that's it. That way, that we'll call it for the day once I get one more. Get on out of here. All right, let's 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 let's. A structure gut. Which one shall we go for? This one. We're gonna go for this one. Hell yeah! That was fucking lucky. I was just like, okay, I'll do this one. Bingo! No oh, stop.
No, not victory for Solana. Solana sucks. All right, everybody streaming that I can raid. Maybe. But anyway, back to old terms and phrases, whatever. Y'all remember Dill Hole? Dill Hole was just weird. It's been so long since I've used that one. Damn. There really isn't anybody on this morning. Well, shit. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll just call it here. Sunday I might do some more. Slowly keep working our way to... Because, uh, to be honest, this has actually been a... Uh, refreshing break from regular classic. Um. So yeah, I think we'll we'll finish this one till eighty. So, especially since we have the uh, XP boost, kind of helps. You know what? I wonder if I can get the name Dillhole on. Uh... Classic. I might try try to see if I can get that name on there because I think that'd be really funny, or even Exqueeze me. That would be funny too. All right, I will see you all Wednesday unless I decide to do or no Sunday unless I decide to do another What's in the Box either. Tomorrow after work, or Friday after work, or who knows, maybe even Saturday after work. Depending on how I feel after work. And if it's raining again, obviously, one of the evenings, I do want to get back into the uh, textured canvases. Because I think they're pretty much ready to start painting. The tissue paper ones. I think I might finish, I might do the abstract one first, the one I did with color, and then go to the other one. But I'll see y'all. Have a good Wednesday. Happy hump day. Whatever.